Rush Duel is a fast-paced spin-off game of Yu-Gi-Oh! where you can summon as many monsters as you want and draw up to 5 cards each turn. In this series, me and the Dr. Alex progress through each Rush Duel product release and build decks with whatever cards were available at that time. We have been drafting characters from the Yu-Gi-Oh! 7's anime and have exclusive access to those characters' boss monsters, and will continue to draft characters from the Yu-Gi-Oh! Go Rush series. Join us as we continue to battle it out in this series, Rush Duel Character Draft. Double Star of the Assault was released January 21st, 2023, and has a strong focus on fusion monsters, with new cat fusions, pyro fusions, dragon fusions, and a new fusion archetype, Sky Saviors. This set introduces two new anime characters. Alex will be taking the Great King of Terror, the Lug, who introduces the Dragius, a 2500 attack, normal dragon monster, and the material needed to make the Dragius Star, a 3300 attack, high dragon, that if you control two or more normal monsters with the same name in your graveyard, lets you send one card from your hand to the graveyard for its multi-choice effect. Either two monsters with the same name on your field get to attack twice, or special summon two normal monsters with the same name from your graveyard. He also introduces Double Ray Dragons, a 2800 attack high dragon that if you only have dragon and high dragons in grave, can pay 500 life points for its multi-choice effect. Either one face up normal monster can attack twice, or set one fusion from your graveyard. Because Alex has Manabu, he gets Alchemicalized Salamandra, a 3000 attack pyro monster that during the main phase it was summoned, can destroy all spell and trap cards, and weaken opponent's monsters by 1000 per card destroyed. He also gets Melel, the beautiful flame spirit of the lamp, a 2800 attack pyro monster that can draw one card and show it. If it's a pyro monster, you can special summon a level 8 or lower pyro from the graveyard. And Chromatographicus, a level 7 2500 attack pyro normal monster. Since Alex has Rovian, he gets Markvio, the ultimate aria a 2400 attack psychic monster that has the continuous effect to gain attack equal to the number of equipped cards equipped to it, and the number of normal monsters on your opponent's field, times 500. Since Alex has Weijo, he gets Void Velger Protostar, a 2400 attack dark galaxy monster that can add a level 4 or lower galaxy monster from grave to hand, and if you have dark hole in your graveyard, special summon a level 8 monster from the graveyard. Alex will also be taking the unaffiliated Guildford package from this set, none of which can be special summoned. Guildford the Legend is a 2600 attack warrior monster that during the turn it's summoned can equip up to 3 equip spells from your grave to warriors you control. Guildford Rising is a 2500 attack warrior monster that during the turn it was summoned can shuffle 2 warriors from grave to deck and make up to 3 attacks on monsters. Finally, Guildford the Lightning is a new legend monster, 2800 attack, and can be tribute summoned using 3 monsters to destroy all monsters your opponent controls. I will be taking Neanderstar, who introduces Dark Eyes Breakstar Cat, a 2200 attack beast that can send the top 2 cards of the deck to grave to inflict piercing damage, and if done on the turn it was summoned, can destroy one face up level 7 or 8 monster. She also brings Cat Claw Girl, a 2200 attack warrior monster that can place one card from your hand on the bottom of the deck to special summon a beast type monster with 200 defense from your graveyard, and if you summon a normal monster, you can set fusion from the grave. Cat Claw Girl is a material for two new fusion monsters. Star Cat Strainia is a 2900 attack beast warrior that can send a card from field to grave to weaken a monster by 2200 attack, and if you sent a normal monster with 200 defense, you can destroy one spell trap. And Star Cat Destroinia is a 2900 attack beast warrior that can shuffle two monsters with 200 defense from grave to deck to special summon two monsters with 200 defense and the same level from grave, and if you special summon normal monsters, those special summon monsters gain 2200 attack. Since I have Yuhi, I get Joint Tech Template Saurus, a 2300 attack machine that can discard one card to change an attack position monster to defense and lower its defense by 2000. I will be taking the new Sky Savior archetype, which is based around fusing warriors and fairies into celestial warriors. Solcier the Sky Savior Light Flash is a 2200 attack celestial warrior that can place one card from your field to the bottom of your deck for its multi choice effect. Either destroy one spell trap for every Celestial Warrior you control, or add Sky Savior symbol from grave to hand. Altiera, the Sky Savior Transience, is a 2600 attack Celestial Warrior that has the continuous effect to stop your opponent from activating normal spell cards, except fusion. 
Dig Race, the Sky Savior Radiance, is a 2700 attack Celestial Warrior that can mill one for its multi-choice effect to either gain 1000 attack for each Celestial Warrior you control, or make two attacks on monsters. Druckmore, the Sky Savior Phantom, is a 2900 attack Celestial Warrior that has the continuous effect that face-up cards on your field cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects. Finally, I will be taking Transamuro Rhinac, since due to our rules, only I can legally summon it, since only I have access to Seven's Road Magician. Transami Road Rhinac is a 2900 attack galaxy monster that can mill one to special summon one galaxy type normal monster from grave and make all galaxy monsters you control gain attack equal to the number of different attributes in both players graveyards times 300. So this is the deck we're bringing to today's game. This is Cat Fusion. So the cat deck historically has been kind of a joke. It's been pretty bad. It doesn't really do anything. It recycles bad spell traps and doesn't really go anywhere with it. Its boss monsters are very weak and as such it hasn't really done much of anything really. But they have just got some new fusion monsters and some new just cards in general which make the deck quite playable. So I look at the fusion monsters first since they're probably the real boss monsters of the deck. So Stray Cat Starnia. So made using Cat Claw Girl Silver Eyes Cat. Send one of the card from your field to the graveyard. One face-up monster in your opponent's field loses 2200 attack and defense to the end of the turn. So that is a really fantastic. Weakening monsters is really, really powerful in Rush. This helps you deal with maximums, helps you deal with giant fusions you can't get over. Anything that has protection because of its level, like uh, fusions and maximums again, just being level 9 and 10. Then if you sent a normal monster with 200 original defense from your graveyard to meet the requirement, you could destroy a spell trap. So again, it can be really, really relevant. Just being able to pop like a stray mirror force or any kind of back row can be really, really strong. So the other boss monster of the deck is Star Cat Destrania. So made using Cat Clogger and Golden Eye Star Cat, shuffle two monsters of 200 defense from your graveyard to the deck. So again, the cost is a lot less than having to lose an extra card. To special summon two monsters of 200 defense in the same level from your graveyard face up to your field. If you special summon normal monsters effect, those monsters gain 2200 attack to the end of the turn. So we have basically two different tiers of monster we can summon. We can either summon our really weak level one monsters. Uh, with 2200 extra attack, they still become quite threatening at 27 and 2800 attack respectively, which is just still really, really good. The alternative is that we summon out, I guess we could summon out two of our air Aries um, and they'll come out pretty big. But the, the two main ones we're gonna to want to be going for are the Golden Eyes Star Cat and the Silver Eyes Star Cat. So at 1400 and 1500 and being the same level at level four, these cards come out at 37 and 3600 respectively. So we can summon out Star Cat Destroyer at 29 and then summon out a 39 and then summon out a 36 and a 37, which is a ridiculous amount of damage on the board. Now, obviously, at the end of the turn, these guys will re revert back to 15 and 14, but that's still a big enough body that they're probably fine. So for the main deck, three copies of Golden Eye Star Cat, three copies of Silver Eyes Cat, three copies of Eokai Air Ares. This is just because that's 200 defense. The three copies of Blue Eyes White Cat and only the one copy of Red Eyes Black Cat. So these are in there because we need specifically normal monsters for a lot of our effects, including both of our fusions. So for the main deck effect monsters, we are on Cat Claw Girl. So place one card from your hand on the bottom of your deck, special summon a beast type monster with 200 defense from your graveyard, face it to your field. Then if you special summoned a normal monster by its effect, you can set one fusion. So this is a really, really good card because you can summon it out, use its effect, lose one card from your hand, bring back fusion and the other half of a fusion, and then just completely go into the fusion. So on its own, this card is just a fusion, which is ridiculous. The consistency there is completely bonkers. Next up, we have Dark Eyes Break Star Cat. So send the top two cards of your deck to the graveyard. Again, getting cards in the graveyard will be very relevant for a later card that we'll talk about. If this card attacks defense position monster, inflicts piercing damage. So again, can be really good because we need a way to get our opponent's life points. The only drawback is it only has 2200 attack. So, ugh. and also if you activate this effect during the main phase, this card was special summoned. You can destroy one face at level seven or eight monster on your opponent's field. So getting rid of seven and eights can also be super, super relevant. So this card, it's iffy, but I think this card kind of leans towards being pretty good. And then we're just on the one Odd Eyes Twin Tail Cat. Its effect is completely redundant. We have this in here basically to facilitate our ship of the seven treasures because we wanted a little bit more consistency. Other than that, we don't really want to be playing this card, but it might randomly come up, but we just need to tribute two monsters to get out something reasonably big. So for our legend card, we're on Pitch Black Warwolf. So this is a beast warrior, not a beast, but our opponent cannot activate trap cards during the battle phase. This is really, really good to blank things like Mirror Force, which are going to be running rampant. So just these types of legends are just really, really strong. Next up, we're on three copies of Purple Eye Star Cat, which lets us set a stray force from our graveyard to our spell trap zone. Then we can choose a face up level seven or higher monster with 200 defense on the field. If you do that, monster can attack twice. So this card is twofold really, really good. One, because it lets us get stray force, which is basically mirror force. We'll more talk more on that later. 
but two, it also lets one of our monsters attack twice. So if we use this on one of our fusions, it can attack twice, which is the way that we're going to get at our opponent's life points, again, kind of pseudo consistently. So again, we always want to have some sort of like multi-attack or piercing so we can actually get at our opponent's life points because obviously in Rush, you can just keep setting monsters in defense and you need a way to actually break through that and get to your opponent's life points as you close out the game. So Purple Eye Stray Cat, fantastic card. And then the other one, Green Eyes Star Cat. So we can send a Beast or Beast Warrior type monster with 200 defense from our hand to the graveyard. And most of the time, this is probably going to be either a normal monster that we don't want or one of our boss monsters that's clogging up our hand and then we can draw one card also if you send a normal monster to the graveyard to its requirement this card can be used to two tributes to tribute summon a monster with 200 defense in attack position so again one card that can basically fix the consistency of our hand if we draw too many bricks and then if we also send one of our other kind of weaker monsters we can use it as two tributes to get out one of our other bricks so just a really strong consistency card we're on two copies of ship of the seven treasures because all of our boss monsters are level seven and we just again want consistency and this card is also still better than the other cards that are similar to it like trading because we can just discard any monster draw a card like getting the extra card is obviously nice but we don't need to this card can still be used even in those situations now for my opinion the most broken card in the deck meanderful rush so place one card from your hand on the bottom of your deck special summon up to two beast and or warrior monsters with 200 defense from your grave face up to your field in defense position this turn you can only attack monsters with 200 defense so we play this get rid of a card from our hand we can then bring back cat claw girl and then any other monster. We can then use Cat Claw Girl's effect to get rid of another card from our hand, bring back another monster, and then bring back Fusion. So this one card on its own, and then any two cards from our hand, is a Fusion monster and any other weak beast monster, which is ridiculous. That's just, that's so good. So the consistency of getting out these Fusion monsters just seems completely bonkers in this deck. So we'll have to see how that actually plays out in the games, but I feel like we're going to get these out constantly. So for our legend, we've gone for Graceful Charity. Again, just consistency, consistency, consistency. This deck wants, because of Meanderful Rush, just to have a lot of cards in the graveyard. We, want, we just want to be dumping Cat Claw Girl. We want to be dumping all of these normal monsters into the graveyard as much as possible. Graceful Charity lets us do that and gets us to fusion as soon as possible. Speaking of which, obviously we're on three fusion. The three copies are Stray Force. So when a prince wants to close an attack, the attacking monster loses 200 attack until the end of the turn. Then if you have three face-up beast, beast warrior, and or warrior type monsters with 200 defense on your field, you can destroy all attack position monsters your opponent's controls. So this is bonkers again this is just if we have three of any monster face up on the field except for pitchback war wolf that's pretty key see a 600 defense we can destroy all of alex's face up attack position monsters which is it's just miracles this is just miracles this is just another card like dark revelation it's just having access to wiping the board is so strong now again everyone's going to be on cards which prevent this as much as possible i think a lot of people have a lot of back row hate they're going to be on the cards like pitch black ball wolf like jinzo to try and stop this going off but they're not going to have those cards all the time so whenever this card does go off it's going to just do so much and also again it combos with purple eye stray cat we can keep bringing it back and reusing it and if we do just bring it back even if we don't use it we can still use it to give purple eye stray cat the effect to make something else attack twice which is again really really good so just a really good card then our other legend is just mirror force because if you're running three mirror force why not run four so for the side deck, Savage Claw Tiger is just a better kind of monster than the Odd Eyes Twin Tail Cat. If we feel like we just need to be more aggressive or if we feel like the fusions aren't coming out enough, we can bring this in. We're on Pack Rat, which again is an interesting effect. It works again with the Beast Type Normal Monsters. We have our Spell Trap Removal. Again, in fusion decks, it's really tight for space. And in these kind of combo decks, finding room to just have Spell Trap Removal can be kind of difficult. And we do already have some light Spell Trap Destruction in Strania. So we feel like we don't maybe need this in the main, but we got it just in case. Uh, Ghost Cyclone, similar reason. Star Restart, again, I don't feel like we need this because we do have the Meanderful Rush, which is almost just kind of better Star Restart in a lot of ways. So, but if we feel like we do need it, it's here. And then just more traps in case Alex is being extremely aggressive. We need to interact with him during his turn. Christ at the Sacred Tower is just a fantastic option. So that's the deck. I don't know how I'm feeling about this deck because the main deck monsters are pretty weak at 2200 attack, but the boss monsters in the extra deck seem completely bonkers and their traps are insane. So let's just fire in and see how we do in our game and see what Alex has got for us. Last week we got to see, what was it, Sky Saviors versus the new Guildford stuff, which you combined with baseball cards, which was pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, I enjoyed both of those decks. I think the Sky Saviors seem really fun, if not a little bit floodgate -y, right? They like to restrict your opponent's play by, like, saying you can't use your normal spell cards except fusion. They protect their own monsters from destruction, which counts as a lot of other bits and bobs. And then, obviously, the biggest asshole of them all, who's not actually a Sky Saviour, 
is the uh, Yami Terasu, who just stops your opponent from special summoning in attack mode, which, again, can really, really stop uh, a lot of decks that could otherwise play around it. I think just limiting your opponent to fusion and then saying they can't special summon in attack mode now means that a fusion deck can still fuse, but only in defense mode, which uh, hurts them quite a lot. Yeah. But when it comes to this game, obviously I'm not going to be on any of those cards, so... <laughs> We still have, yeah. I mean, yeah. We still have um, quite a lot of different bits and bobs. I think you have two, like full decks that you could now bring, and then like you know, I think we've got minor support for a few other decks. So I guess there's quite a lot of different things you could bring. I don't remember if you have two decks left or three decks left, but I know you have the Pyro Fusions, which we haven't seen from you yet. So Pyro is still on the table. Dragons is a big one that you haven't brought yet. Because dragons, I think, got a shit ton of support in this set with the yeah. whole uh, Dragia, like the star Dragius or the Dragius, and then the Dragia star, which we haven't seen anything from you from that yet. And then for me, I believe I have cats, which, you know, historically beasts have been a bit hit or miss. Um, and then the other deck I still have available is Join Tech. I guess, the machines again. I mean, I know how much you like playing against the machines. <laughs> yeah. Just generally a really powerful strategy. But, rather than keep speculating, shall we hop in and see what both on? Yeah, let's go. All right, let's go for this. Ooh. 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 Ah. Yeah. Triple scissors always works. What happened? Uh, I've switched up my... <laughs> let's go second. Okay. Let's go second though. Uh, this hand is not the greatest, but we will empty it nonetheless. So I will summon the mighty red eyes black cat. <laughs> then I'm going to summon out purple eyes star cat, whose effect is mostly useless, but I can set a stray force from my graveyard to my spell and trap zone and then choose a seven or higher monster with 200 defense on my field, and that monster can attack twice this turn. Then Ooh. we're going to tribute both and summon out Dark Eyes Break Star Cap. So I can send the top two cards of my deck to the graveyard. If this card attacks a defense position, monster inflict piercing. And if it was the turn I summoned this card, I can destroy one of your level seven or eight monsters. Obviously, you don't have any of those. Uh, and I can't even activate the effect just to fill my graveyard right now because I guess it's not allowed to attack. So that's a bit of a shame. I would have liked to put some cards in the graveyard. But I'll set two back row and pass back. Okay, that's an unfortunate draw. I'm going to set. Okay. Tribute set. So and tribute. Double twin dragon. So that makes me think you're on a dragon deck. So I don't think there's a reason to play double twin dragon outside of a dragon deck. The question is though, can I actually do much against... <laughs> tribute set as well. I have really no idea what that is. I don't know if that's a new card that they got. Okay, so I have these both. What do I want to do with them? Right, we're going to activate the effect of Break Star Cat. So I mill two, and now it has piercing damage. Right, we will normal summon out Green Eyes Star Cat. So I can send one beast or warrior type monster with 200 defense from my hand to the graveyard. Then I can draw a card, and if I send normal monster to the graveyard to meet its requirement, this face up card boosts two tributes to the tribute summon of a monster with 200 defense. So we will activate the effect. Pitch our Blue Eyes White Cat. Then, our tribute for using it as two tributes to summon out Cat Claw Girl. So I can place one card from my hand on the bottom of my deck and then special summon a beast type monster with 200 defense from my graveyard face out to my field. Then if I special summoned a normal monster by effect, I can set a fusion from my graveyard. So I will normal summon my Golden Eyes Star Cat. Then we're going to activate our fusion. Combine mm -hmm. our monsters together to make the Star Cat Destroynia. Now this card is a little bit weird because I can shuffle two monsters with 200 defense from my graveyard into the deck, especially summon two level, uh, two monsters with 200 defense at the same level from my graveyard face up to my field. If I special summon normal monsters by this effect, those monsters gain 2200 attack. Now I specifically need to summon two cards of this effect and I do not have room to summon two cards. So uh, it's not gonna be doing a great deal here. But I do have room to normal summon out another Golden Eye Star Cat. And then we'll just go battle face here. So we will attack over the potentially big one, I guess. Then we'll attack with our piercing and hope this is a little one. Ooh, nice zero. And then this should be able to get over this. Nice. And then we'll pass to you. So you're on the clone. Oof. 
I will send this. Okay. Normal summon. Ooh. Activate the clones effect. Okay, so you can draw. draw a card, and then his name is now the Dragius. Okay. Uh, no. I don't have the copy or Back to the Fusion in my oh, then if you have not. Ah, right, right, right. I thought here... The Dragius. I read the copy as the clone. I was oh. actually have two of those in the graveyard. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately not. Astrobiojet. Tribute Metagears. Okay. Summon out Mirage Dragon. So you have, what, protection from traps if you were to discard a card, and I can't activate traps during the battle phase. Uh, hmm. uh, yeah. Be this. One. You can do that on any turn, so I'm just going to end. Uh, you want to leave me with a cat, so that I can't use the effect. Clever girl! Um, I don't think I can do much to try and punish that. I suppose I do have a play. Does it do anything? Kind of. Mm. Alright, we will normal summon my Silver Eyes Star Cat. I will then tribute both of my monsters to summon Cat Claw Girl. I can then activate Cat Claw Girl's effect to put a card on the bottom of my deck to bring back a monster from the graveyard. So we'll be bringing back everyone's favourite, Silver Eyes Star Cat. And then I can set Fusion from my graveyard. We will then fire off our Fusion and fuse both of our monsters together to create our other Fusion monster. The Star Cat Strania. So I can send one other card from my field to the graveyard, and one face monster your opponent controls loses 2200 attack slash defense at the end of this turn. Then if I send a normal monster with 200 original defense to the graveyard, I can destroy a spell trap. Now, fortunately, I don't have a monster I can actually use this with. Uh, and I guess I do, kind of. How much do I care about your back row? Mm, I guess we will respect it. So we will activate our Meounderful Rush. So I put a card from my hand at the bottom of my deck, and then I can bring back a monster from the grave. So I'll be bringing back my Golden Eyes Star Cat. I can then activate the effect of Strania, send it to the graveyard to weaken one of your monsters, and then pop a spell trap. Okay, it was just a fusion. I was getting worked up for nothing. <laughs> we'll get a battle, and we will attack with Destroynia over your Metagius, and attack with Strania over your Mirage Dragon. And then we'll pass back. I must say, I have gotten very lucky to find just all of the stuff I needed really early. Well, set this. Let's just set a bunch and end, because I've got nothing that can get over 29s at the minute. Yeah, 29's definitely big. Okay, so I believe I cannot use Strainia's effect, because you don't have face up, even though I really want to pop your back row. So... I guess we summon into it and just kind of hope you don't have a Torrential. So I'll summon out my legend monster, Pitch Black Wolf, Ooh, which is yeah. the, the Beast Warrior Dark equivalent of your Mirage Dragon. Then I'm going to set two back row and just go to battle. And we just have to attack end because we have no way to gain piercing or multi-attack at the moment. And then we pass. Well, I'm going summon this. Okay, Ray Dragon. How many bloody 1500 dragons are there now? <laughs> uh, one for each element apart from dark, I think, now. Okay, so it's a similar to the Spellcasters thing, because I think Spellcasters have one for each element now. Um, I'm assuming a fusion is about to happen, since these both are in attack mode. And activate back to the fusion. If you have two or more face-up monsters with the same name on your field, add fusion from your graveyard to your hand. Then if you have two or more monsters with the same name in your graveyard, add one of them to your hand. So I assume you don't have two. No, you've only got one normal oh, monster in there. It's the Star Dragon. Okay. Uh, well. We'll go ahead and activate fusion. Okay, I have no idea what this guy does. I'm sure I read it at one point, but... The only monsters in your graveyard are dragon or high dragon monsters. Pay 500 life points. One face up normal monster on your field can make two attacks. Set one fusion from your graveyard to your spell or trap zone. Okay, so you don't have a face up normal monster at the moment. Oh. 
Now, unfortunately, we do have back row, and we actually did just draw our legend trap. Oh. Well, GG. Yeah, Mirror Force claims another victim. <laughs> Thanks yeah, for bringing Mirror this Force to Rush. Won that. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it did. I, I guarantee you if that if I didn't have the mirror force, two twenty nine hundreds. Yeah, I mean, getting out fusions is just bonkers. Like if you'd got out your double ray dragons early, I would have been in a fucking sticky situation as well. Although, mind you, he's only twenty eight. He's not even as big as the fucking cat one, does he? Uh. Ooh, this hand very specifically is a bit. Monkey. Um, so I could do this to do that. I guess that's worth doing. Hmm. It gets it out of my hand, which is currently stuck. So we will do this. We'll summon Green Eye Star Cat. Activate the effect. We'll pitch Cat Claw Girl. Then I will. Am I setting? Tricky, tricky, tricky. Yes, we will set one, set two, and set three, and then pass on this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Can you guess why I only summoned one monster? <laughs> uh, well, I will summon Astro Biodric. Okay. We're going to... Oh, if you hit the right one, this could be big. Oh, I hit the right one! <sighs> Yeah. <laughs> oh, the 33% chance and we'll he fucking wins this. it. Okay. Summon the clone. Okay, so two pretty wimpy dudes. Um, this card does nothing. So we will let our cat just fall here. And take a chunk of damage for our troubles. Okie dokie, this is a weird hand. Okay, we will activate Graceful Charity, our legend card. Oh, this is a really strange hand. Um, I guess I don't want you or... You, I think? Okay. So if I activate this... Oh, wait, no, I shouldn't have done that. I should have done... Oh, that was really dumb. I've just really seen why that was stupid. I guess it's not awful. Yeah, I think it's fine. So I do this, this. All right, let's just kind of play this out and see how this ends up. So we'll activate our Meanderful Rush. So place half my hand on the bottom of the deck. Switch summon two beast and or warrior type monster 200 defense. We'll bring to the field in defense position and it locks me into attacking with any monster with 200 defense. So we'll get rid of this. Your deck has lots of. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, I actually cannot do the whole line I wanted to do. I guess that's fine. We'll do this anyway. So we'll summon this and this. Oh. They do come out of defense, but this is just to facilitate the fusion plays. Uh, unfortunately, Green Eye Star Cat can't do a ton right now. I guess because of how I've done this, I'm going to activate Green Eye Star Cat here, discard the draw. Then, we will normal summon out Golden Eye Star Cat before activating Fusion. We will com be combining again. Once again, though, I have too many monsters on board and thus cannot use Destroy Nia's effect. So we'll set a back row and go to battle. And then I suppose we will just be attempting to attack the clone before passing the turn. Have the clone. Okay. Tribute two for the Dragius. Here he is. I love how his, uh, his the whole thing with um Luke in the show and his Dragius is that he says it twice, and he says like he even he's, he's like says his summon animation twice, and then he says you wonder why I said it twice. And it's like because it's like super important or whatever. But I love at the end of this card, it just says the Dragius, the Dragius, with an extra exclamation <laughs> mark. Well, I hope you like. Is it double dragon? The dragon. The dragon. <laughs> okay, so is this a fusion play or are we just. I don't have a fusion. 
Okay, okay, we've got Ray Dragon as well. Uh, that does nothing, so goodbye. Green Eye Starcat, and... you will be missed. Hmm, that's a hand. Hmm, does it do anything? Mm. Maybe I should have done that, my juice. You know, hindsight's 2020 in it. I could use this. I could do that. I guess I could just use its effect, right? Especially on two months, 200 defense, the same level for my graveyard. The question is. I could, uh, one of them would have to be a blue eyes white cat, who would gain 2200 attack. Which is actually not that bad. No, oh, yeah. Fuck. <laughs> So I guess we will. We'll activate the effect, and then we'll be chucking stuff back into our deck. So that would be this, and I guess one of these. Now, why is it specifically limited to, to these? Two months of treasures in the same level. Oh, I see what I've just done. Okay, I would have needed to summon both of the other ones. But this is fine, because these guys are huge anyway. So I think we just go to battle and just pray that you don't have anything good back there. So we'll attack with this. Okay. And we'll attack with this. I'm assuming you have combo pieces back there since you're playing a fusion deck. And then we'll just pass the turn on this. Alright. Double Doom Dragon. Okay. Activates for... There's no fusion there. I'll Astro by a Drake. Okay. Tribute 2 for Metagears. Okay, so this will give it protection. This card can't destroy trap effects. Okay. The copy. Prince face also in high monster on the field. Special summon one level, one normal monster, the same name as a monster on your field. Okay, so we've got the double drag is back. It looks like no fusion. Set a macro. Still no fusion. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to Am I activating this? Mm. Yes. I'm going to activate a trap card that is really, really good. Okay. Have you used your Metagears' effect? Nope. Okay. Like it couldn't discard a set. Well, this is the annoying trap card. It's mm. Mirror Force for cats. Yeah. And that's, yeah, that's game. It's not on my back, but it does nothing now. Did you just have all your spell cards back there? Like, yeah, two back copy. to the fusions. Yeah, so it, obviously, again, when you're playing fusion decks, it can just get super bricky when you have cards like that. Unfortunately, that's just kind of the nature of fusion. I, I just got lucky, realistically, to find all of my big stuff. Do you want to play game three and see if we can uh, get some yeah, dragon fusions well. going? Second. Oh, joy. Mm, this hand's not the greatest. We will, I suppose, summon Purple Eyes Star Cat. Then we'll summon out Golden Eyes Star Cat. Then we'll tribute them both and summon out Cat Claw Girl. And then I guess we're also going to normal summon out Pitch Black or Wolf. And then actually, as much as this kind of sucks, I kind of just want this out of my hand. So I'm going to tribute both of them for Odd Eyes, Twin Tail, Cat, and Pass. <laughs> I was like, I don't need to summon this and ending with two monsters is probably better, but... Yeah. The Dragon. Astro Bio Drake. Ooh. Steel Strike Dragon Metagius again. Whee. That's right, I'll just draw the out. I'm not worried. <laughs> Mm. That's not the out. Um, what do I do against this? Oh, no, this is the out, right? Yeah, just. Alright, we'll summon out Green Eye Star Cat. Uh, so I could discard to draw a card. I guess that's worth doing. So I'll activate the effect and we'll pitch Cat Claw Girl to draw. Well, that's not what I want to draw. Then. I will normal summon out a second, take its effect, and discard Cat Claw Girl. We'll tribute both of them to summon out Dark Eyes Break Star Cat. I can use its effect to send top two cards to the graveyard against piercing. Hmm. 
Uh, during your main phase, call up a special summon, you can destroy one face at level 7 or 8 monster. Now, why didn't I get to destroy your level 7 or 8 monster? Because <laughs> it wasn't special summoned, it was tribute summoned. Oh, is it special summoned? I thought it was just summoned. Ah, okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> that's fine, then. It's not as good as we were hoping it was going to be, but we emptied our hand, and that's the important part. <laughs> yeah. Um, hmm. dum, dum, dum. Oh, no, don't destroy my back rows. Okay, Stray Force without three monsters is just 200 attacks. That wouldn't have done me much good here anyway. Uh, normal summon Mirage Dragon. Okay. Let's set this normal summon the clone. Good old clone. No. Okay, well I'm taking a chunk of damage here. I guess it could have been worse. I really need to see fusion to really do anything here. Let's see if we draw one. Ugh. Mm. <laughs> uh, I have a play. Does it? I mean, I I can out Met, uh, Metagius and then follow up with literally nothing. So I'm wondering if it's that's even worth doing. I think we set. I don't even know if it's worth trying to kill your other monsters. I'm gonna set this, set this, set, and then. Am I setting this, or am I setting this? This is the question. Uh, this is useful for that effect, but then it doesn't. I think this is a bit more win more, so I'm going to set this and then pass. Yeah, okay. good. Um... I'll let you in a little secret of my deck. Uh, everything in here except my legend does 200 defense. Because <laughs> 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 that's that's how they've uh, got the cat archetype. Because obviously you can't just have like. Beasts, warriors, and beast warriors, because that gives them too much, like, uh, influence, yeah. I guess. So they've decided 200 defense, much like your uh, your jerseys are uh, 500 defense. Activate the clone. Okay. Pitch back to the fusion. That's just a really good effect, you know. Just, right, obviously you have to have just high dragons and dragons, but dragons are fine with that most of the time. But just discard draw is good on its own, let alone having the ability to do other stuff if you want to. Is he still the clone? Uh, if you have the copy or back to the fusion in your graveyard. It's, it's a then, so... Oh, uh, yeah. I was going to say, you haven't seen my Mirror Force yet, but um, you've got two things that kind of ignore Mirror Force at the moment, so... <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, your Mirror Force is in the graveyard, so I'm not too worried about that. Oh, is that the one... I don't even remember that going to the graveyard. <laughs> <laughs> you destroy that early with a heat No, I, I, you must have sent it with something. That's not surprising. It's probably uh, Dark, Star, uh, Dark Eyes Brick Star Cat sent it. I just wasn't paying attention whatsoever. Mirage Dragon out. I've got the Dragon. I'm going to tribute him for Mirroring Wyvern. Okay. Activate his effect. Just so normal from your graveyard visit to field. Special summon. This card's name becomes the Dragius. Okay. Uh, so I should be able to activate fusion. Oh, here it comes. Get out the Dragia Star. Okay. So if you have two or more normal monsters, the same name in your graveyard, which I don't think you do. So one copy of hand to the graveyard, two attack position monsters with the same name on your field can attack twice. Uh, especially summon two normal monsters with the same name. <laughs> I can't do either because I don't have. I mean, you have still got 3,300 <laughs> attack monster. Yeah, true. Well, obviously, it wants you to um, get them out using two Dragius, the Dragius, but um, they've also given you a lot of ways to get them out otherwise. And I'll go to battle. Okay. Unfortunately, you can't get, get in my life points, which gives me time to find fusion. Here it comes. I'm going to draw fusion here, and then we're going to make a awesome play. Here it comes. Uh, <laughs> hmm. That's from the grave of the same level. That's four. That's four. Okay, that should have worked then. So we will activate Meanderful Rush. Put a card back mm -hmm. and then bring out Golden Eye Star Cat and Cactuar Girl. Then we will activate Fusion, combining our monsters together into Stray Cat Destroynia. We'll activate its effect. We can shuffle two cards back into our deck. So I'll be shuffling back this one. And probably... I guess 
this one. Now I can create two monsters that are the same level. So I'll bring back Golden Eyes and Silver Eyes. And then because they are normal monsters, they will gain a boost up to ridiculous numbers. And your fusion monsters' effects are even better than mine. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I mean, if you have Mirror Force, though, I just straight up lose here, I think. So we'll go Battle Phase, and we'll see if you have it. I activate Dragon Double Doom. You must attack Ray Dragon instead. <laughs> okay, now the question is, do you have another one? <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> okay, so we did manage to clear that. We are going to end with two kind of wimps on the board. Then we'll pass the turn there. Oh Okay. And Ray Dragon. Question is are we using Oh we got strength Dragius. The Dragius. And Mirroring Wyvern. Oh, is this the full combo? Is this full combo? This is full combo, isn't it? And the copy. So your opponent has a face of home, let's especially someone normal wants with the same name. Okay, okay, this is not where I thought we were going. So we don't have fusion then. Oh, that's a shame. Not. That is such a shame. Well, we still take a ton of damage here. Although, it means I can now use Dre Destroy Nia's effect again. Um, so yeah, I guess we'll do that. So I need those two, so I guess we're getting rid of this, and... This. Now it's time for us to walk into the newly set Mirror Force. Battle phase. Attack. There it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was it was always coming, wasn't it? It was always coming. All right, I'll end my turn here. Now, I, I hope, hope you get to do a fusion here before you finish me off. I actually do. Oh, the only problem is, is bloody mirroring Wyvern stuck on the board, so you can't use Dragius' uh, special summon effect. Because that's the cool thing, right? It's that you can summon him out, use his effect, summon out two more the Dragius from the graveyard, and then you're like, haha, my board is disgusting. Yeah, well, I mean, let's get rid of... Hey, it's almost that. The Ray Dragon. Yeah, I got nothing for this. Oh! Yeah! Mirror Force is a good card, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who would have thought, huh? Um, yeah, I think you you hit the nail on the head when you said my deck is more consistent. I think Meanderful Rush is crazy, right? It lets me summon out two materials from the graveyard, one of which is Cat Claw Girl, whose effect lets her also get fusion from the graveyard. So if my graveyard's full of shit, Meanderful Rush, and then any two cards from hand is a fusion monster, which is really, really good. Because originally I was thinking this deck might be a little bit lackluster because outside of the fusion monsters, all the other monsters in the deck cap out at 2200 attack. And I was like, well, 2200 is a bit crap, really. Like, even yeah. even for the low end of two tribute monsters, that's still very low. Like, that beats an unboosted Sevens Road Magician. And that's kind of it. Um, whereas your deck's playing a lot of 2500s. Obviously, your deck uh, gets kind of tangled up in the whole, like, oh, well, I've got to have the graveyard also set up, but with more specific cards of a higher level so like you you want to have two dragius in the graveyard like asap but like that's not easy to do well at least it's not as easy as uh just getting all my shit in the graveyard so that's the other thing my yeah. deck has a lot of effects which discard cards from my hand and the only card in your deck that i saw that let you discard was um the clone who was it was nice that he lets you discard right because filtering is always really useful but um I feel like maybe you need just a little bit more cycling to get through the deck. Maybe something like yeah, a probably. Ship it's... of the Seven Treasures would help yeah, or something. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, but Dra Dragius star though, that was a really cool boss monster, right? Like a two-headed Dragius that 3300 attack, level 9 high dragon, basically can swarm your board with 2500 plus monsters or can make get two attacks. And it's not it's got the Dragius effect where it can just attack twice. Well, I guess it's not even that, right? It's better than that because it is just attack twice. It doesn't have to kill a monster and then attack again. It doesn't have to get two attacks just on monsters. It's just attack twice. So this is like just a really good way to get at people's life points. Like imagine if you got this out alongside like a regular Dragius and then like attack two, then attack with him, then attack directly with him for 33 and then you still have one more monster who hasn't been used. 
Like, yeah, totally. Can just be like really bonkers. I think the the ceiling for your deck is definitely way up there. Uh, we didn't really get to see the other fusion you had, the double rage dragon. Like, I mean, he came out, but obviously he didn't do a ton because again, they all have like really specific requirements. Um, my fusion monsters, though, I thought were pretty neat. Um, the <laughs> the one that summons two monsters from the graveyard ended up being pretty bonkers. Just being able to summon two almost four thousand attack monsters is a uh, 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 <laughs> seems a bit good. Obviously, you need to be running a bunch of like kind of mid cards to make that work, but. As long as you've got the room to get it out, like it seems really, really strong if your opponent doesn't have any back row. Ah, oh, but yeah, it was a it's a weird one. I, the other so the other big takeaway, I guess, is um Stray Force is another board wipe. It's another mirror force. That I don't <laughs> like again, it requires yeah. you to have three face up monsters with two hundred defense, right? That is the the caveat, I guess, to it. And outside of that, it's just a battle trap that weakens by two hundred, which is really bad. But I don't know if we need more board wipes. Like I feel like we've already got no, a lot of them. Enough. <laughs> yeah, I Mirror don't... Force on its own is enough. I mean, yeah, Mirror Force won me game one and it won you game three, right? Like that that just shows the power. Now, obviously, you know, these aren't two like particularly strong meta decks. Like I don't think we're gonna see the Dragia Star matching up against cats at the next like big tournament. But these decks don't feel like super bad either. Uh and we were also both running cards that specifically were there to deal with things like Mirror Force. You were on um, Metagius and Mirage Dragon. I was playing uh, the Fusion that can pop back row, and I was also on the uh, Pitch Black Warwolf. So we did have like anti Mirror Force cards as well, and still both lost the game to it, <laughs> which yeah. I guess just speaks towards the cards. But that's one thing as well. I don't think in any of the games did we see your Legend uh, spell card. My pot of greed did not show up. So it's just it's just mm. sat there, just buried Normally in the deck. Normally glued to my hand and yeah, buried in the deck somewhere. Yeah, I think the last two times you brought pot of greedy doesn't want to show up. It's a bit of a shame. I think in one of them you brought it in game three, and then obviously this game you didn't see it at all. It was a bit of a shame. But it was fun, I do think. I think got we got to see what your your deck could really do in game three. I think Dragia Star, like I said, is a really cool boss monster. I think it's a really fun like take on it. Again, it's maybe a little bit too awkward to use. Like, it's, it's very much like an anime type thing, right? Oh, well, I'm always going to get exactly what I need in the anime. So I can just do yeah. all these things willy-nilly. Um, ironically as well, the your guy, uh, who's the Lug in the show, beat, I think he won his first game, and then he lost in a tag duel where he made a clone of himself to play as his partner. So they had, like, two <laughs> copies of the same guy. And then they lost to the two protagonists from Yu-Gi-Oh! Sevens and Yu-Gi-Oh! Go Rush like in a tag team it took both of them combining to take him out and my one my deck uh i think won its game but then like surrendered at the last second sort of thing like type type of deal um but this was against okay, the, the pyro deck yeah it, it, it I mean, you'd have to be watching the, the show to really understand the whole concept but um basically it was like an act of self-sacrifice because whoever loses the game gets frozen in a block of ice Oh, see. And, if, if, <laughs> and because it because it's Yu-Gi-Oh! Go Rush, they got frozen to a block of ice because they read a really bad manga. So, um, <laughs> y you know, it is what it is. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, GG, man. GG.